Hey guys, this is Riff Raff DC, Raffi again, um, and this is my second vlog. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping count every single time, but yeah, it's only my second, so why not? Uh, so yeah, sorry for the uh, delay. I was planning to have these vlogs come out every Wednesday. I will from now on, um, but yeah, a lot of stuff happened last week uh, that, it, that, that I couldn't do it. I got sick, which kind of sucks, and I'm still kind of sick now, So, which, which explains why I haven't done many videos lately. Um, I did do the video yesterday uh, for Gangnam Style, but I mean, that's, I mean, I, you can't really avoid that one. That's, that's like a huge hit, so there's, there's no way I was, um, was going to let being sick keep me from doing a video. So um, yeah, so I definitely wanted to kind of step out for that one. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna zip through this vlog just because I think last time was like really long and drawn out, but since it was my first one, I'll give myself the, uh, that kind of rookie, I'll let, I'll let the whole rookie thing kind of play out for that one and just let that be. Anyway, okay, so, um, first thing I wanted to bring up is again, thank you guys so much. It's freaking amazing that, um, just two weeks ago, I was saying how I was up to 7,500 subscribers. And by this, by, by the time this vlog airs, I'm pretty sure I'll be up to 8,500, which is, it's mind blowing. That's like a thousand additional subscribers in like two weeks. That's, I, I don't, can't explain it. It's just, it's, it's amazing just how much you guys are, how supportive you guys are or how, how you have been. And it just blows my mind every single time that, you know, I, that you guys really like my videos and I appreciate that. I, I thank you so, I thanks so much and uh, I, I definitely want to keep doing this for everyone. I want to keep playing Dance Central, want to keep encouraging you guys to play Dance Central. And uh, yeah, to just kind of, you know, just keep at it. So I hope, speaking of like playing Dance Central, I hope a lot of you got a lot of that, uh, like that got to play a lot of Dance Central over the Thanksgiving uh, holiday uh, in the U.S. of course, but of course anywhere like is it's all there's always an occasion to play Dance Central. So of course, just uh, I hope you've been playing a lot of it lately because they and they get some practice in because they have some they've released some pretty damn awesome um, DLC uh, besides Gangnam Style. They released the uh, the two other Usher songs, Euphoria and Twisted, which I cannot wait to get a video out for those as well. Um, I'll see how I feel in the next few days, and then uh, if I'm feeling a little more like more kind of put together, then I can definitely make videos for those. Um, and uh, yeah, so get your practice in, and then those DLC tracks are fantastic, and then you'll see definitely. Um, okay, uh, next is um, uh, so someone asked me like uh, leave, left a comment for the last video I made about uh, what who what my favorite crew was in the game. Um, I, I've always said. And I really, and I still do stick by the fact that I, I, I'm still, I'm still a high definition fan. Like, high def, high def all the way. Like it's, uh, I don't know why I said high definition. It might have been a little. I work in video, so I kind of when I see high def, I automatically think high definition. Anyway, um, so yeah, so high def all the way. I, I, you know what? I love glitch, and all you glitch fans out there, I know you, I know you're crazy about the little guy, but I, Mo is like, he's, he's my boy. He's a. Uh, He's the guy, I, he's the one I, I always think about if I'm trying to think like, if I were to emulate like a Dan Central character, who would it be? Definitely be Mo. He's awesome. Um, okay, next thing is someone asked me about, you know, I mean, like it, it was a really, really awesome, encouraging, huge response for me saying the whole, you know, like for me bringing up the whole idea of, um, <clears throat> you know, not caring, not really letting people tell you that even if you're, you know, that, oh, you're fat, you can't dance, you can't do whatever. Like, no, nah, that's, that's, that's BS. Like, if you want to dance, you just kind of, you just do it yourself. Like, don't let anyone tell you you can't just because you're big or whatever. Uh, that said, though, um, I have been asked also, like, oh, if, if, uh, if you do want to use this as a, wor uh, a weight loss regimen, like, what do you do? Like, do you eat, how, if, if I, Choose if I. Someone asked me if I choose if I did, did decide to eat healthy, um, if I could keep a vlog about it. I don't know if I'll be that specific because and plus I don't think I'm necessarily the person to give that kind of advice. You should really like speak to an actual expert or a dietitian for that sort of thing because there's only so much I know that I've researched on my own on the internet and stuff. But uh, what I do know is. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways out there you can eat healthy. There's there's opting for uh, stuff that isn't fried, like go for something baked or broiled, 
or steamed. Uh, try to avoid fast food stuff. Go for go for like um, uh, better quality uh, proteins. Like don't just settle for fries and burgers. Like go get yourself like a nice turkey breast kind of meal. Uh, chicken is really good too. Um, again, I don't want to delve too deeply into this because this isn't really this isn't really my realm. But um, yeah, just it just it's it's all about just eating healthy and smart and not just grabbing food because it's the easiest thing you can come by. Like um, it's always better to cook at home just because you know exactly what's going into your meals. Um, and I find in the long run it's more fulfilling because you feel like you've actually accomplished something by making your own meal. And you know, it's a life skill. Like why wouldn't you want to learn how to cook? I think it's, you know, I think that is a great thing to kind of have under your belt as an ability because then you're kind of, you can always go, you know, it's, it's, it's very impressive to be able to tell somebody you know how to cook. Uh, uh, then we can just leave it at that. Um, so uh, that said, uh, I have been using a, uh, a calorie counting app called My Fitness Pal. I do believe it's available on iOS and Windows Phone because I recently switched over from iOS to Windows Phone um, and it's available in both. Pretty sure it's on Android too. And that app is great. You just log down, uh, you put down your stats like how many uh, pounds a week you want to lose after you put in your your height, your current weight, uh, your age, and all that jazz. It'll kind of calculate calculate how many calories you need to be able to, you need to consume a maximum of, excuse me, <coughs> that day in order to kind of stick to that weight loss kind of um, progression that you want. And then you just map out what kind of foods you eat th throughout the day. It has a huge database of existing foods that you can just plug in. And then it also has a barcode scanner. You can scan like whatever, if you have like a pack of like uh, uh, chips or something, you want to just scan that, the barcode, and it'll pop up. And you, can, you know, it'll, it's, it's the easiest way so far that I've found to be able to track what you eat. And it is so far working pretty well for me. Like I've been pretty happy with it. So yeah, and um, so uh, I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, I, that, uh, that, that um, being on a healthier diet uh, coupled with Dan Central, which uh, it, it will lead to a healthier me, you know, so that's, I'm definitely uh, excited about the possibilities now that you, uh, that, now that I, uh, now that I'm on it. <laughs> okay, uh, next is, so um, do, I, do I play, the next question is, do I play any other rhythm games like DDR or uh, Guitar Hero or Beat Mania? Um, I did before, actually, like, the funny thing is, like, when it came to this whole dancing thing, like, uh, it, it, when DDR first hit, uh, Dance Dance Revolution first hit arcades, I was all over it. It was like, oh, this is amazing. This is so novel. It's like, it's so interesting. And I played it any, anytime I went to the arcade. I admit I wasn't maybe super into it like a lot of other people are that I've seen, that I've seen because, I mean, it's not like I, I, you know, I spent whole like hours and hours just playing DDR. But whenever I, I did see a DDR in an arcade, I no matter where I was, I, I had to try it. I had to play it at least once while I was there. It's just I, I just found it really really fun, and you know the, from there I kind of found Dance Central, and then you know the rest is history. Um, yeah, I love rhythm games. Uh, it, of course, there's always been Guitar Hero, Rock Band. Rock Band is yeah with my roommate before she owned the system. Anyway, and um, also uh, Elite Beat Agent uh, on DS was. Freaking awesome! Love that game, um, and uh, and I don't I remember this thing at the arcade with like light sensors, and you kind of like break the top and the bottom, and then they would use your legs too, and then that would kind of have that uh, you'd hit rings, and I forget the name. I'm sure you guys know what it is, um, I, but that was that was pretty fun too. Um, next question is, uh, what Dance Central game is my favorite? Well, I mean, if we're talking about the one with the most features, definitely Dance Central 3. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of the new, the, the party mode is awesome. The, 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 the routines are ridiculous. There is just, it's, it's just, oh man, it's just as, as good and as much of an improvement Dance Central 2 was to Dance Central 1, Dance Central 3 is just blew it out the water. It's like it, it, anything I felt that Harmonix wanted to, like finally throw in their game, they did for the third one. They just like, here you go. This is all the stuff we wanted to do and this is what you're gonna get and this is what the Imagine the Game's supposed to be like. And it is fantastic. Like uh, there was a huge, there, there's been a huge kind of like, um, what, what you call it, like a 
Black, uh, Black Friday sale this weekend in the United States, Cyber Monday. Um, so hopefully you were able to pick it up at a discounted rate. It's, I mean, even if you don't, it's still worth it. Like, you know, wish for it for Christmas. Hopefully someone will, you know, will hear you out and it will hear you and, and get you a copy because it's totally worth it. If you already have a connect in an Xbox, if you don't go get it and I, not a salesperson, blah, 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 just go. <laughs> um, okay, next question. And the last question so far is, um, I guess my, my ethnicity. So people are asking, are you Filipino? Um, did you grow up in the Philippines? Actually, let's, 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 let's take this in a, a step by step. Yes, yes, I am Filipino, full-blooded Filipino. I grew up in the Philippines. I moved to the United States for a while and then I finally moved to Canada. Um, it's, I grew up, the, the majority of my, my, my life was spent in the Philippines. I, I, I went to college there. And then from there, yeah, I went to the U.S., worked for a while, and then I came to United uh, and came to Canada, uh, and now I and now I live in Canada. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yes, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what else to say <laughs> uh, other than yes, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's. I mean, I'm not. I'll be honest. My friends actually laugh at me when I try and speak Tagalog because I, it it always kind of sounds funny um, because. Uh, I'll be honest. Like I, I, I know how to speak it, speak it colloquially, but I, it's not like I'm writing these huge sonnets and whatever. Like I remember reading Florante at Laura in school and El Filibustero. El, oh my God, my, my friends are gonna make fun of me seriously for this one. El Filibusterismo. Oh my God, I'm I'm totally losing my Filipino card for this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's I go Philippines. I'm I'm totally with you guys. Um, it's. It's an amazing place to grow up in and amazing place to visit now. And I'll always, it'll always be in, in my heart for sure. Um, can't wait to go back and go to the beach. <laughs> that's, that's always what I kind of go for whenever I'm back home after I'm done visiting family and friends. Um, um, yeah, so uh, without being too much of, uh, without rambling too much, that's about it for now. Um, again, thank you guys so much for your support and for, for all the good stuff that you've been saying and it's it's really it's really been so encouraging. Um, please keep those questions coming. Um, and if you have any, yeah, I guess if you need to know anything else, feel free to just message me. You can find me on Twitter at riffraffdc. That's R I F F R A F F D C. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I think if you search for Riffraff DC, you'll find me there. I have a fan page that, can, that I've set up that you can just. I'll, I'll do regular updates there as well. And I also have my YouTube page, so um, you can leave me a comment, send me a message there. Uh, the best way to reach me definitely though is either Twitter, that's the one I check the most, and Facebook, just because Facebook is ubiquitous, like everyone has it, so it's easy. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to ignore. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about all I have. Um, stay tuned next week for uh, another vlog. I'm not sure what I'm going to cover there. I'm kind of, I'm kind of winging it each time I do these things. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have something really cool in store for you guys before the holidays really sets in. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys soon.